What's up guys, John here and at Titan Medical Center, we wanna help you guys know as much as you possibly can to be educated about all the therapies we offer. So there's a lot of common questions we deal with and there's a lot of myths out there. So let's debunk one of the top myths out there that I hear all the time. Testosterone replacement therapy is going to make you infertile. This is not true. So let's debunk it and let's talk about it. So when you're on testosterone replacement therapy, whether it's medically supervised or you're not doing it right and might be getting it from somebody else, which is totally off and I would never recommend that. And you might be doing something that might hurt you or might be injecting something that might not be good for your body unless it's medically supervised and coming from a US licensed pharmacy and we know exactly where it is. So let's get that straight off. But when we talk about testosterone, a lot of people say testosterone will make you infertile if you take it. This is so untrue. It's very untrue and I want you to know that and let's debunk the myth and tell you the reason why people might be coming up with a myth. This is the reason. If you take testosterone and you're not taking testosterone correctly, so let's say you get prescribed testosterone and that's all you're taking or you're doing this some other way, shape or form at your curricular and at that point you're just injecting testosterone. What happens? So when you take testosterone from any transportation rate, whether it's an injection, whether it's oral, whether it's a cream, whether it's a patch, your body is recognizing this. Your body is super adaptive, right? It knows what's going on all the time and it tries to do the best for you it can possibly can. So when it sees an outside source of testosterone comes to the body, the brain is not stupid and recognizes this. Now, there's a signal that goes from your brain down to your testes, your testicles, right? And that signal is keep going. And basically the brain is talking to the testicles and the testicles are producing testosterone throughout the body. But when you take an outside source and start putting it into the body, your brain then recognizes that. And then it shoots the message down to the testes and it says, listen, we don't need you to do this because we already got it coming in from somewhere else. The testes are like, okay, I'm going on vacation. See you later. Let me know when we can help out. What happens at that point? So then the testes start going through atrophy. That's right. They start shrinking. Body cells get shut down. So what happens is, is you're not producing testosterone in your testes, but more importantly, your semen production is getting get lowered, right? You see where I'm going with this, right? So when you have a lower semen production, you're not shooting as much, right? And this is a common problem because we want the volume of semen to be large. So when you shoot, you're actually going to hit targets out there and you have a lot of swimmers going to complete this mission, right? And that's for fertility to get someone pregnant. But if you're on testosterone and you're only on testosterone, this can definitely lighten the volume, which is getting produced and going to try to get fertile that egg. So with this, this is where the really true myth comes into play because people that are on testosterone can still get people pregnant. I've heard people out there saying, well, I'm on testosterone. I don't have to worry about birth control or anything like that. That is so untrue, guys. Even for me, my son, Peter, I was on testosterone replacement therapy and happily and easily got my wife, Sharice, pregnant with him on testosterone replacement therapy. We've had so many other patients out there get their loved ones pregnant on testosterone replacement therapy. But the whole point is you have to do it correctly. So if you're just taking testosterone, like I said, the brain and the body are gonna recognize this. The signal is gonna get shut off to the testicles. And at that point, your testicles are gonna go through atrophy and lower serum production is gonna happen. So it might be a lot harder to get your partner pregnant. Now, when you say, well, how can I do testosterone replacement therapy and still get my pregnant or my partner pregnant? So you're gonna need some sort of gonadal support. Something that's going to keep that signal going down to the testes and trick it even if you're on testosterone. There's medications out there and therapies out there that we offer with our hormone replacement therapy for patients. So this never happens, okay? Nobody likes to have little puny raisins down there, right? It can be uncomfortable, it can be tight, and it's just not good for overall optimal health. So at this point, you want to look at some of these gonadal support agents and medications out there, Enclomiphene, ACG, Kispeptin. These are different ones out there that we utilize for our patients to make sure everything is working correctly down low, making sure that the quality of life and the optimal fertility levels are still there too as well, plus serum production. So I hope this has helped you out debunking the myth that testosterone makes you infertile. 
This is so untrue. Don't believe it, guys. It is not a fact. It is a fact that you can still get people pregnant when you're on testosterone, right? And you should have gonadal support to make sure that the semen production and volume is still up. Just another tip and fact from us here at Titan Medical Center to you guys. I hope it's helped. If you guys like this tip, make sure you guys are tuning in for the next one because I got all kinds of great information that I'm going to share with you guys. Love you. I appreciate it. If you want to become a patient, just call or text us 727-389-3220 and check out our website for all other great information about this therapy and more at titanmedicalcenter.com. I appreciate you guys. I'll see you soon and I'm out.